Hi guys, this is SDJRSF88 speaking with a channel update for January 2020. Now first of all you might have noticed a change of scenery. We are in fact in a hotel room uh, and this is where I've sort of been currently uh, sort of living in and out of for the past month um, thanks to my new job. Now first of all I'd like to say a massive thank you for all the uh, lovely comments I've re received over the past month or so uh, from you guys um, you know, asking how I'm getting on. And I thought this update would be a nice sort of opportunity for, for me to say that I'm really, really enjoying it and really, really getting on well. Um, down here in Devon with the team at Railway Modeler magazine, I'm really, really enjoying my time down there. Uh, as some of you may have spotted, I'm running the um, Railway Modeler social media pages, including their YouTube page. So I've been doing a number of videos for them recently. So um, one of which, um, which has been doing really, really well um, recently. Uh, is the Hornby 2020 range announcement. Uh, we did a special um, video at Railway Modeler uh, showing sort of a little short behind the scenes video showing uh, some of the new products and some of the new prototypes, including the new um, HM6000 um, app-based analog controller. There's a full tutorial on that actually working in that video, so I highly recommend you go check that out. I'll pop a little link in the description below and on screen as well. So anyway, although I've been away um, you know, in the, in the hotel on evenings, um, away from the layout, I have been doing modelling projects. So as you can see in front of us here, I've been working on um, a couple of um, different projects um, sort of every evening, uh, as and when I can. And recently this week, I've been weathering up these. These are some um, Dapple O-Gauge 16-tonne mineral wagons. Now I've got a full channel update, um, no sorry not channel update, <laughs> I mean um, workbench update on the way and that will show some of the other projects I've been working on. That was filmed just before Christmas and features a few sort of World War One projects I've been doing but these will come in the update after hopefully it all being well. Uh, other things that have been going on, I've got a couple of exhibitions coming up, uh, one in fact this weekend um, just after filming which is the 12th of January and that is at the Western Supermare Model Rail Exhibition with Amiens 1918. Now I was there last year and the layout won Best in Show so I had to return and um, I'm back there again this year. Now as some of you may know Amiens 1918 has not been out for quite a while now. I think the last time it was out was at the Hornby Open weekend which is all the way back at the beginning of August. So uh, on my weekends back um, at home I've been cleaning and preparing the layout hopefully um, so it's all nice and ready and um, ready to show this weekend. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see some of you guys there. The next show for Amions after that is in fact the Yate Model Railway Exhibition, which is again a one day show. And I believe that is the beginning of February on a Saturday. I'll pop a little link in the description below with more details on the dates and times for that one as well. And then um, apart from that, those are the really the only exhibitions I've got booked. As you can imagine, um, work is taking a bit of priority at the moment and with a planned proposed move down to um, Devon, uh, meaning that I'm obviously closer to um, uh, work and railway modeler, um, I've sort of had to put all exhibitions on, on hold after that. However, there is one exhibition that has been planned although I've only literally just received uh, an email through. Uh, basically to confirm that Amiens 1918 is on the list for Worley 2020. So I'm really, really excited um, to actually be invited to, I'm sure you would agree, the biggest model railway exhibition in the UK. Um, it really is um, sort of an honour in a way. And I look forward to hopefully um, seeing you guys there with the layout. So <laughs> I've got to make sure that the layout's ready for that. So very, very exciting stuff. But yeah, I, I, I thought I'd just you know, do this little update video just to let you guys know what's happening. I'm um, sorry it's a bit sort of a, a quick one. <laughs> I just, you know, what had thought that you guys have been asking how I've been getting on. I thought it'd be a nice way to, um, you know, basically let you know that I'm getting on really, really well um, down with the team at Railway, at Railway Modeler. They've been really, really welcoming and uh, yeah, I, I feel that I'm really fitting in well down here. And um, yeah, do check out the social media pages for Railway Modeler, which of course I'm now running. Um, like I said, I've uh, got quite a few videos I've done recently, so do check those out. But as mentioned, the SDJR f 88 channel will still continue, all being well, uh, obviously with these projects. And also the team um, at Railway Modeler and the team at Pico, because obviously Railway Modeler is part of Pico. Uh, I've been chatting with the guys down there and a number of them have challenged me to build a model railway in a hotel room. 
So I'm not sure what you guys think of that. Uh, I've got a few little ideas for a little micro. So tell me what you think. Uh, would you like to see a video of me attempting to build a small micro layout in a hotel room? Um, you know, leave your thoughts in the uh, comments below and I'll see what I can do. But anyway, I guess that's all for this update. And this has been SDJR Cinef88 speaking and thanks for watching.